Hey Alec here, welcome to part two of this three-part series on how to find jobs as a freelance developer. In the last video, we talked about how what matters is not just how you go about finding jobs, the methods you use to find companies that you can work with. Also, what matters at least just as much is who you try to work with. It doesn't matter if you have the best method of finding jobs in the world if all the people that you're trying to work with are all businesses who don't really want or need websites and who are not willing to spend a lot of money on the websites. So in the last video, I showed you how you go about finding good types of businesses that you could apply there as a freelance developer. Now the question is, how do you go about applying as a freelance developer? In my experience, the best method that you can use, especially if you're a beginner, is called mechanical outreach. And what I want you to understand about mechanical outreach through email is that it's very different from traditional cold email techniques. Mechanical outreach is a process through which you leverage modern technologies so that they do most of the work when you're using a strategy to message people. When it comes to email, traditional cold email is probably one of the most used methods for freelancers trying to find clients. And the reason for that is that it's always been working pretty well. The problems with email though is although it works pretty well, it takes a lot of time in your week, even if you do contact the right people, even if you contact people who are highly likely of being interested in your services and who are highly likely of being willing to pay you the amount of money that you deserve, you still have to send a lot of emails to get results. And the problem with traditional cold email is that writing emails takes time. The quality of the emails that you write depend on the amount of time that you spend writing it. It means that if you wanna have high quality, you need to spend a lot of time, but if you spend a lot of time, it means that you can send less emails per hour, so it takes you more hours in your week to get the amounts of clients that you're trying to reach. So with mechanical outreach, what we try to do is to automate part of the process of writing the emails so that we can write emails faster to the right people with the right message that are consistent because we're gonna be using email writing templates that have been proven and tested to work. So the way you find jobs is a three-step process. The first step is you have to figure out the who to contact, which I've showed you how to do in the last video. After that, step number two, you need to set up templates for the writing of your emails or your messages and do that on an outreach tool such as SmartReach, which is a really good tool that I recommend and I've been using. This tool is going to make it so when you go about writing your emails, the template is already in, is already, it's automatically going to enter some of the, the customer's information, such as their name, their company name, and different things that are put in your template. After that, you typically have one or two sentences to write for each person to customize it to their needs. But more than that, the reason you're want, gonna wanna use this tool is because of step three. Step three is that you automate uh, the sending process with a follow-up sequence. Most of the uh, results that people get from email are from when people don't reply, they send them more emails and they keep trying to keep in touch with them until the person replies. A lot of people go overboard with this. Some people send eight follow-ups. That means if someone doesn't respond, they receive eight other messages. You have to be respectful. What you wanna do with Follow-ups, you absolutely want to send them. I don't know how many times I've had clients who tell, told me, I'm so happy you messaged me again. I wanted to reach out to you, but I was too busy and I forgot. But like, you want to send a respectful amount of follow-ups. And again, following proven templates so that we know our follow-ups are likely to get us a good amount of results. Uh, there have been studies online to track how much follow-ups really help. And what I found is one metric that really is interesting. If you send just one email and one follow-up after that to people who don't respond, typically 
you double the amount of people who are going to read your emails. If you send one email, they don't respond, you send three follow-ups, you triple the amount of people who are going to read your emails. This massively, massively increases the amount of response, the amount of job offers that you can get. So that's the point of the follow-ups. So what we're gonna wanna do is you send your first email, and after that, one week after, is the first follow-up. After that, one week after, is the second follow-up. And after that, one month after, you send the third follow-up. Very respectful. A lot of times, you will find that that third follow-up, that follow-up a month later, gives you a lot of results. Because a lot of times, the, re the, the, the people want to respond to you, they want to hear what you have to say, they're just too busy. Messaging them a month later gives them an opportunity to reach out to you and read your things in a moment where they're not as busy. And the really cool thing about SmartReach is that it allows you to save a ton of time. You could do this whole sequence of emails without a mechanical outreach. The problem is, first of all, you have to send your first email. It takes you a bunch of time. Uh, then you have to remind yourself a week later to send the follow-up. Then you have to remind yourself a week after that uh, to send the follow-ups. And then you can spend hours a week just trying to manage who you need to follow up with sending the follow-ups that you don't have to do with SmartReach. With SmartReach, it takes as much time to send all the follow-ups and, and automatically track everything the same amount of time that it takes to send just the first email. All of this work, you don't have to do. This is the power mechanical outreach. The power of this sequence is that typically it will triple the amount of people who are going to read your messages. But the power of smart reach is that you can get all these results. So three times the results of if you just stop with the first email. However, you get the results of the whole sequence for just the effort, the effort it takes you to send the first email. That's the power of mechanical outreach. If we look at all this process, what you need to understand is that it's not just this. You have the power of the follow-ups behind you. More than that, through the use of tech and templates, you save time so that you can eat, not only have three times as many people who, um, read your message, who read your message in the same amount of time, but more than that, you can write way more emails in the same amount of time than you could if you wrote them manually. So that means way more results per hour that you spend. More than that, we make sure that the emails that we send end up in the hands of the right people who are highly likely of being interested in our services and are highly likely of being willing to spend a lot of money on web development services. And more than that, all of these emails are following these proven templates that have been tested and proven to work. So not only are we contacting the right people in a crazy amount of right people, we are also contacting them with a message that has a high likelihood of getting them to be interested in our services. Cold email normally works, but this is the power of mechanical outreach when, once you add it on top of cold email. And the reason I think this is the best method for any beginner developer who uh, wants to freelance is that you don't need a lot of talent to be able to write these emails. You just follow the templates and this is the only client getting method that I know that can get someone who is a complete beginner clients that fast and spend less than two hours a week to find clients and still find enough high paying clients to sustain a very profitable career as a freelance developer. You could get great results with cold email, but one of my friends who tried to do that had to spend eight hours a week emailing people. He ended up giving up. The thing is, he wanted to make websites. He didn't want to spend a quarter of his time working per week just trying to find clients. You know, we're, we're not freelancing because we want to send emails. We're freelan we want to be freelancing because we want to be able to make websites, make more money through our websites and have the freedom of working where we want and have the freedom of, of making our own schedules. I think in, in any case, that's my take on why I want to be a freelancer. And so having these methods that allows me to find high paying clients in the least amount of time as possible, that's really what allows me to have a freelance career that's enjoyable. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this 
to the next step and get started with mechanical outreach. If you don't want to miss that video, you want to subscribe. It's going to come out in exactly two days. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when it comes out. And with that said, I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.